Hi, my name is Kishan. I'm the senior product manager for Optima EMEA. Um, behind, on, the, on the left of me, we have uh, our tunnel, which and is showcasing a range of our uh, laser products. Um, so, so this is laser, laser DLP projectors. Laser DLP projectors. That's correct. That support um, that are Duracore technology. So they have they're IP rated. They have long lamp life. Uh, and they support 360 degrees installation. This and is a bright 1080p's, right? There's no 4K here. Uh, no 4K's here, just uh, 1080p and WUXGA products. And what kind of market is, are these for? Um, so you got museums, random install, simulation, um, bars, clubs, wherever really. It's uh, quite a range of verticals. So when you talk about all these uh, pubs that are showing football matches, mm -hmm. Optima is probably market leader for this kind of stuff. Yeah, we have quite a few products in these in these sorts of places. Um, I've seen quite a few installs myself. All right, what 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 is that black one? Is it new? Yeah, the black one is new. That's a ZU 720T, um, yeah. 7,000 lumen laser. Can you bring it just a little bit higher. Yeah, it's a 7,000 lumen laser projector. Uh, and we've got them in portrait mode. So this product does support full 360 degree Is this the information there? And yeah, that's the information on the left. So, uh, 7,500? Yeah. 30,000 lumen, LED. Laser light source. Laser yeah. light source. Yeah. So it's laser tunnel, only laser around here. Only laser, it's full range of laser products. So we've got short throw, ultra short throw, and standard throw products. So we're showcasing all the different resolutions, sort of different brightness levels that we support, and the sort of different throw ratios that we also support. Um, doing laser is great for brightness, colors? Yeah, laser is good for constant, constant brightness, really good color, the long life, the, the fact that you can install the products in many orientations, so it's not limited to just your standard ceiling or desktop installs. Right. And uh, what are we looking at here? These projectors are being used and uh, they look a little bit like consumer projectors. I think the HD uh, uh, 14, uh, 144X is like a consumer projector, no? Yeah, so all the products we've got here on the table are part of the sports promotional period. So these are all the models that we, we have on for sports. So these are the models you can buy for. Extremely popular, right? Correct. Like, uh, are you kind of like the market leader and DLP projectors in the world? Done consumer but yeah you you, you are uh, selling lots and lots of DLP 1080p projectors and 4k also that's correct no so here's some 4k USD yeah. 30 yeah that's a new product that will be available next month so what's new about this one so it'll be it supports 240 Hertz so it's a gaming product well wow. so the 240 Hertz provides a higher refresh rate for smooth motion 240 hertz in 4k uh, 240 hertz in 1080p ah okay so in 4k it's just 60 correct and um, here's another so the 42 is the same but it, this product now comes with 1.3 times zoom and vertical lens shift so that means a wide no that's not wide which one is the wide 1.1 or 1.3 uh, 1.3 so it's a wider it's a long, uh, yeah, it's a, a bigger throw. Bigger, bigger image. Uh, and these are probably uh, attractive prices, right, for the consumer market? Yeah, the UHD 30 is going to be around 1,000 euros ink that, and the UHD 42 will be around 1,300, uh, sorry, 1,300 euros ink that. And uh, I guess the 240 hertz is also with low latency. Correct, um, it's about just under 16 milliseconds. It's less than uh, less than uh, one or two frames at 240 hertz, yeah. or something like that. Uh, four frames, maybe. What's happening here? Uh, in here, we have a hologram projection. Pro uh, sorry, projection. Um, at the back, we've got uh, one of our QLED screen, um, our pod LED screens, and in front, we've got um, a holographic film on a on a piece of glass. With projector? With a projector, yeah. Is this just a demo for the show? Or are people doing this kind of stuff? Like, de deploy? Yes, yeah, to show other applications that you can do with projection. 
Do you have customers actually doing this stuff? Yes. Um, there's a customer. Oh, I forgot the name now. Sorry. Yeah. It's this. It's this one. This one. Yeah. So they have a, maybe a museum where. Uh, yeah, they do the, cir the circus. Um, where the dinosaurs come alive. Yeah. Or maybe it's just other than the Alright. Uh, uh, do you have a bunch of other stuff? Is this all of the projectors or do you That's have other stuff? That's pretty much all the projection. Sorry. Do you have other stuff going on here at the booth too? Uh, we've got uh, our LED range now. So the, we've got the Quad Show and the and the Quadzilla. So maybe we can check out the, the LED solutions? Sure. All right. Uh, hello, my name is Brian. Um, I work with um, uh, Optima for uh, a few years now. We have different solutions. Uh, this is one of our uh, ultra short throw projectors at 4K resolution. Uh, we are using an ALR screen here. And um, we are just showing how good it is to use a projector in, in a high ambient lighting environment. Is the like ALR the screen, is that That's expensive? Um, no, it's not that expensive. Uh, we have a, a, a whole bundle here. And um, ALR stands for ambient light rejection. So any lighting that you can have from the ceiling um, would be rejected and it will focus mainly on the lighting that is coming from the projector. And you this is the 240 hertz projector? That we this saw is the 240 uh, hertz, uh, generally uh, ideally for gaming. Uh, so if you have a PC that supports a high refresh rate, then this projector, the UHD 42, is, is the best option. So basically this area is talking about LED light source. Um, this area we are mainly focusing in the home entertainment market. So we have a home, very good home cinema projector and we have a, a gaming projector that is, is innovative at 240 hertz. Um, there are no other many solutions Can out there. Can we see it in action? Um, there's a keyboard here. Like uh, there's a way to play this he game. Wants, he wants to see, can, yeah. can you show us a little bit here? Yeah. So uh, that's going to be the band. There's no so, chance so, you can so do 240 hertz in 4K. We, we have, we have uh, from the BIOS, you can read the, the, the current refresh rate here. Wow. And you can, you can see the response on the projector. Generally, this kind of performance is only found in, interact, in, in flat panels. Um, but in projector, it's, it's just not seen yet. So, is uh, LCD the only uh, just monitors? Uh, in monitors, correct. And here we have a very powerful gaming rig to be able to play this many frames per second. Nice. So the gaming market is going to grow also for you? Uh, yes, we are, we are providing different options. Um, we are trying to integrate all of our solutions for different type of markets and now gaming is, is one of the markets that we also want to um, to attack. So what are the other stuff here? What is this? In here we have uh, a range of LED displays. This is our quad LED. Um, the model name is FHD 130. Uh, it's a 130 inch LED display with a 1.5 millimeters pixel pitch. And in this specific case, we are demoing it with a very uh, nice mount. We call it the quad show. And what this allows is for the LED display to be rotated and to a 90 degree angle. So you can use it for uh, digital signage or you can use it in uh, conference rooms or in any kind of applications where you want a large image display. What's the resolution? Um, pardon? What's the resolution? The resolution here is 1080p. But as you can see, uh, in a large image display with a high color ratio like the LED system, it, we have had many people at the show saying this is a nice 4K image. Because you know the blacks are true blacks. Because with the LED technology, we are able to turn off completely the LEDs. So you have a very, very good contrast and high color ratios. Do you sell many of these? We've been selling many. Uh, since we launched last year, um, this, this type of product has been very, very popular. So uh, we are very happy to continue in this market. How do you make the LEDs? It's not micro LED. Uh, these are quad 
quad system. So uh, it's four SMDs. That's what we call it. So every every uh, LED, every tile, has got four LEDs uh, that are are, are um, uh, it encompass RGB LEDs together. So it makes the LEDs stronger and also it makes the contrast much better. There's no dead pixels at all? Uh, dead pixels, no. I mean, it, there's always a chance of dead pixels, but as you can see on our pictures, we, we don't have these kind of uh, issues. How many and hours before the dead pixels appear? Well, Supposedly never? That there is, in theory, you could run the LED displays at 100,000 hours before you get any, any faults. Uh, however, if there are any dead pixels or you had any issues, uh, we have 144 tiles in this display. Wow. And you can remove them. How you can remove the them. The, the tile is just as big as this. It's very, you, you might not be able to see oh, it, nice. but you can just remove the tile and, um, and replace any, any faulty LEDs if that was the case. Nice. Uh, are you going to go into the micro LED business or is it related or not? Um, to go to, it depends. It depends on the market segment. If you go to the micro LED, then you're talking about like super high resolution. Um, in this kind of conference room environments that we're trying to target this, this market, um, a 1.5 millimeter pixel pitch, that the one we have right now is, is enough. Uh, usually the viewing distance is, is uh, one to one. So if you're using a 1.5 millimeter pixel pitch, the viewing distance will be about 1.5 meters. The, the best viewing distance will be double that, so it will be three meters. And in general, that's, that's where people would be standing. And as you can see from far back, it's just, it looks like a massive uh, TV, right? What's a, the price? a massive uh, LCD display. So. Is there a price on this? Um, I, it, our pricing at the moment is about a hundred, um, no, about 80,000 80, euros. Yeah. 80, How about this is even bigger? This one is uh, 163 inch. Uh, full this HD. Is uh, this, is a new, this is a new solution that we are introducing in this show. Uh, this is our Quadzilla, is the nickname of this uh, display. And it's, uh, the model name is FHD. 163 so it's a 163 inch LED display now the difference is uh, because of the size we have a 1.9 millimeter pixel pitch and as you notice in comparison to the other LED display this is, uh, this has narrow vessel so if you look at the side there is narrow narrow vessels it's very thin and um, this also allows us to, to stack it so we can combine different uh, FHD 163 LED displays or Quadzilla's and then we can make a very large image. And also with a bunch of tiles? Is it tile technologies or something? Uh, yes, the same kind of system. We have tile system all, all around the display. Uh, but again, I mean the setup time in comparison to, um, to a traditional system using um, modular displays, it's, it's really low. You could, for this size of display, it would take you two days to have it fine-tuned. Uh, when we set up this display, it took us just three hours because we have everything built in. Almost. How bright is it? Uh, this supports 600 nits. nits. How much? 600 nits. Uh, so it's enough enough for any indoor uh, environment solution. And uh, if, let's say, one of the tiles goes bad, the user can replace it themselves? That's right, yeah, and they are hot swappable, so you don't have to turn off the display. Uh, we have an extractor tool. It's like a magnet? It's a, like a magnet. You can remove the tile and replace it again. And how much is a replacement tile? Do you provide unlimited free tiles? Uh, we, it, it comes with, uh, I believe, six tiles at the moment. So you can have replacement tiles, but we, if you feel that you need more, then we can include more in, in, in the uh, point of sale. What's the price on that one? Uh, at the moment, we don't have a price that we can reveal right now. But, 163K? Uh, um, we'll see. Maybe roughly around that, that, that price, yeah. Can you not do 4K? We can do 4K if we can stack them. So this is one, uh, 1080p. It takes 4K signal. So if you have a 4K source, 
you can plug it into this display and you can have a big image. Now if you want true 4K resolution, you can stack them together until you, you create 4K. So you 4K. create a 326 inch 4K display? Um, yes, in theory you could do that, yeah. You could have it be like a cinema or it's not suitable for that? Um, because of the viewing distance, yeah, I mean if you stand back, um, this is almost, this is 1.9 millimeter pixel pitch, which means the viewing distance is 2 meters, the perfect view, viewing distance is 4 meters. When you stand back to 4 meters, you cannot see any LEDs. So um, you, could, you could use it for that because of the high contrast uh, that, that the display uh, provides. When you go to Times Square and stuff like that, is it this technology that's there? It's the similar technology, but it's LED displays that are built for uh, outdoors. So this, this LED display uh, is only built for indoors, uh, indoor applications. The outdoor displays are more robust, but also the pixel pitch is, is bigger. So you are talking about 4.0 or 6.0, 8.0 millimeter pixel pitch that is much larger because the viewing distance from, from the audience is, is much larger, so you cannot see that. So this should be like in a storefront, like uh, behind the window? Yes. On the store? and just attract all the customers from outside? Yes, auditoriums, uh, digital signage is a great market, so you could have it behind the window for any kind of marketing or advertisement. And uh, you can also tilt them that way? Yes, uh, so that's something we are very excited about showing today is that we don't only provide a, a landscape solution, but we also provide a portrait solution. In comparison to other manufacturers, we, we are uh, one of the only ones maybe that, that provide this type of um, support in portrait. Uh, what do you need to support to, for this to work? Is it the mounts? Mounting system and also all the architecture inside where the SMDs are located, the power supply, the, the receiver cards and everything else that is inside. Because it's all in one system, it's, it's the scaling is built in the display. In a traditional system you have the uh, the, the scaling in a separate processor and here the scaling is all built in. Nice. Uh, I, I thought, the, I mean, for, to me, Optima was famous for um, the projectors, right? But this is like a new market, new business, and it's very professional market. Yeah, so for Optima, we maybe during, in the past few years we've been known as a projector manufacturer. But actually our messaging today in IC is that we are a large image display provider. So we do projectors, we do interactive flat panels, and we do LED displays to combine this, any needs in the market.